might not revolve around the Boilermakers Union, but its industrial revolution most certainly has. Over the past 125 years, the Boilermakers have helped build the world we live in today. The physical infrastructure of our modern culture and the moral framework of our industrial society. They have been a significant engine in the North American economy. They earned their name building the boilers that generated the steam that powered the Industrial Revolution. They helped build the blast furnaces, furnaces that yielded steel, steel that boilermakers then used to help construct the railroads to move people and commerce over the great expanse of America. Boilermaker rivets help connect bridges to cross rivers, and then they help build giant ships to cross oceans. Boilermakers helped create the solid fuel rocket boosters that propel mankind into space. And Boilermakers contribute heavily to the military infrastructure that defends us all. Even now, as the world's brightest minds seek answers to energy and environmental challenges, it's the Boilermakers whose expert craftsmanship will help to turn those ideas into real solutions for the benefit of people everywhere. As always, Boilermakers are at the forefront of progress in the workplace in maintaining the highest quality of craftsmanship, in ensuring safe work environments, and working for fair wages and benefits. Now, then, always moving forward. For 125 years, Boilermakers have contributed significantly to the economies, the social infrastructure, and the military readiness of both Canada and the United States. When the U.S. Navy sends an Aegis destroyer or Seawolf submarine to defend our country, you see the hard work of shipbuilding division Boilermakers who proudly contributed to the defense readiness of our nation. When NASA sends the space shuttle into space and the solid fuel rocket boosters help power it skyward, you can be proud of the fact that industrial sector boilermakers contributed to space exploration. When you turn on your tap at home and fill your glass with water, look again at the familiar water tower. Or when you turn on your gas heat or gas stove. Look again at the storage tanks that hold the gas for literally millions of families and businesses. National Transient Division Boilermakers proudly contributed. When you flip the light switch on at home, turn the thermostat to a more comfortable setting, or fill your car with gas at the local service station, along with millions of other citizens, be proud of the work both construction division boilermakers and shop fabrication boilermakers contributed to your everyday lives. When you and your family 
or millions of others, sit down to dinner at a neighborhood restaurant or your meal is prepared on a Hobart stove or take a Thyssenkrupp elevator to your destination, you can be sure that stove division boilermakers proudly contributed. When you walk down a sidewalk or drive over an overpass or enter a skyscraper, along with millions of other citizens, give another look to the cement that holds it all together. Cement division boilermakers proudly contributed. When you watch those heavy, powerful locomotives pulling hundreds of rail cars along our railways, moving the goods and services that help keep our economy on track, you can be sure that railroad division boilermakers proudly contributed. And when you see rail car after rail car filled with coal destined to power the boilers we build and the power they generate, you can be proud of the fact that coal mining boilermakers worked hard to contribute. When you consider the dyes, flanges, machine parts, and other forged components that are so critical to our industrial infrastructure, you will know that forging industry boilermakers proudly contributed. When you pull the McGregor Turney 5 iron from your golf bag to make that next 150 yard shot to the green, just up next to the pin, give those clubs another look. Metal polisher boilermakers proudly contributed. And when you walk up that 150 yards and find your Spalding golf ball actually sitting at the bottom of the cup, don't hit that one again. Put it in a special place and know that Boilermakers from a Forging Lodge proudly contributed. When you sit down at your neighborhood bar, just as millions of others do across the country, to watch the Purdue Boilermakers meet their challenger, and you order up a shot and a beer, you know Boilermakers contributed. Boilermakers are men and women of all walks of life, trained in a vast range of skills, but with common threads binding them. The desire for excellence and the know-how to accomplish it. As they like to say, Boilermakers do it right the first time. The membership of the Brotherhood is a source of its collective wisdom, excellence, and craftsmanship. And it is through its membership by standing alongside each other that they've managed for more than 125 years to keep their promise of working for unity, progress, and protection for workers. The Industrial Revolution of the mid-1800s was one of the most far-reaching changes in the history of human society. Almost overnight, new skills were needed to meet the demands of widespread factories and ever-expanding distribution systems, such as railways and shipping. But working conditions were harsh and very dangerous. Workers were often mistreated by employers, but within the sweeping often impersonal changes of the Industrial Revolution, laborers and skilled tradesmen became emboldened by a simple yet powerful idea. 
that they could organize into collective bodies to bargain for safer working conditions and better pay. The earliest efforts to unionize boilermakers were met with disdain and sometimes violence by employers who considered unions little more than criminal conspiracies. Union leaders were often arrested and given long prison sentences. But by the end of the Civil War, various regional boilermaker unions were gaining a firm hold in America's industrial landscape. Recognizing the strength in their combined numbers, representatives from two growing regional boilermaker unions, one based in Chicago and the other in Atlanta, met in the fall of 1893 to discuss a merger. And when they were done, the Brotherhood of Boilermakers and Iron Ship Builders of America was born. There is no job that gives Boilermakers a greater sense of pride than their labor in defense of their country. Boilermakers recognize that it is only a strong national defense that guarantees their freedom to follow those inalienable rights of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. During World War I, shipyard boilermakers, in a popular rallying cry of the time, helped build a virtual bridge of ships to carry munitions to soldiers in France. In World War II, historians credit the phenomenal rate at which the United States built ships for the war effort as being a significant factor in the eventual defeat of Germany and Japan. A victory due in no small part to the skills training that Brotherhood tradesmen were able to impart to new workers drafted into shipyards. Since the end of World War II, the Brotherhood has continued to play a role in contributing to the defense of America in both wartime and in peace. Members of Boilermakers Local 693 in Pascagoula, Mississippi, built the USS Cole in the 1990s. But on October 12, 2000, terrorists attacked, resulting in the deaths of 17 US servicemen. Another 39 crewmen were wounded. Soon after the attack, the US Navy brought the USS Cole back to the Pascagoula shipyard for repair. Boilermakers brought to bear on her their extraordinary range of skills. Within a mere 14 months, they returned her with great pride to our nation's line of defense. In November of 2009, the Navy commissioned a new warship, a state-of-the-art San Antonio-class amphibious transport dock, the USS New York. 7.9 short tons of steel salvaged from the fallen World Trade Center were symbolically used in the ship's bow section, stem bar. Boilermakers again stood side by side with other crafts whose skills helped to defend our country. Workers treated the bow section with great reverence and respect. Organized labor has led the charge in raising the living standards for the widest swath of working Americans rather than a privileged few. Through its ability to organize, bargain, and when necessary, strike, the labor movement has helped to shape our modern reality, often fighting for ideas that we now take for granted as workers' common rights. Ideas such as a 40-hour work week, minimum wage standards, pay raises 
that keep pace with the ever-increasing cost of living. Healthcare coverage that offers access to high-quality care. Social security and pensions to help protect those who have given a lifetime of labor. The abolishment of child labor in the United States and Canada. Racial integration decades before the civil rights movement blossomed in mainstream America. Gender integration at America's most desperate hour, forever changing the face of the country's workforce. Once considered radical, all of these ideas that the Brotherhood so desperately fought for became the world we all live in. The modern Brotherhood continues to use its advanced training resources to explore new ways to blend new technology and techniques with the elite Boilermaker craftsmanship, providing answers to new construction questions. The Brotherhood is continually working with governments and employers worldwide to ensure the safest possible work environment for workers everywhere. The Brotherhood continues to gather formidable strength from its membership, using its collective power to advance the greater good for men, women, and children of all backgrounds from across the globe. From the freedom you cherish, the air you breathe, the fuel that sustains your life, to the food, water, and products you enjoy. It's truly impressive the many ways which Brotherhood craftsmanship fabricates our world, touching our individual lives every day. as it has throughout its history, as it shall moving forward. In a representative democracy, the economic guarantee of liberty. The natural right of those who toil to enjoy with their families the product of their labor is uniquely essential to the welfare of a people. In an organic unity, social justice demands recognition of this inalienable right. An organization that draws workers together affording mutual assistance in securing just wages, reasonable hours, and favorable conditions of employment, requires recognition of this natural propensity of man to live in society. Cooperation, friendliness, and good understanding demand the forthright acceptance of duties among workers and mutual responsibility between them and their employers. Therefore, in furtherance of the ultimate purpose of social justice, cooperation and good understanding and in order to assist our fellow craftsmen to continue their, their advancement, advancement we have organized this international brotherhood of boilermakers iron ship builders blacksmiths forgers and helpers and have adopted this body of law as its international constitution that is a boilermaker